Well, good evening from Buckingham Palace. Now, the Queen was always going to be a very tough act to follow. And I think during the 70 years of her reign, the levels of republicanism in this country were remarkably low. Well, it's going to be much more difficult for Charles. Lord Ashcroft's done some very extensive polling on this. Now, what it tells us is that amongst the over 65s in this country, the monarchy enjoys 74% support, with just 14% who would favour us becoming a republic. But when it comes to younger voters, well, the figures are really interesting, worrying, depending on your point of view. 34% of 18 to 24 year olds don't see the point in continuing with a monarchy, but 28% do. Now, what does that tell us? Firstly, it tells us a huge number of young people are very undecided on this issue. But why would so many young people not think having a monarch was a benefit to this country? Would not think the constitutional monarchy, which I think has served us incredibly well over the last few centuries, why would they not want that to be there? Well, I'm going to put forward a couple of my thoughts and ideas. Firstly, I think a lot of this has to do with the education system in this country. It used to be just the universities, but no longer in primary schools and secondary schools. Increasingly, young kids are being taught we are a dreadful country, an awful, racist, nasty country with a dreadful history. We and we alone were responsible for slavery, perhaps the only country in the history of mankind that ever practiced it, and that the royal family are implicitly part of that barbaric history. We are teaching children to hate the country, to hate the culture, to hate everything it stood for and indeed fought for. And I really mean that with great passion. That, I think, helps partly to explain the numbers. The other reason is that our population has increased by over 8 million people since 2001. And whilst 84% of that is directly down to immigration, Many of those would have come from West Indian islands or the subcontinent where they perhaps had grandparents that were involved in World War II and they would come here feeling a part of our history and our culture. But millions have come from parts of the world where this country has had no specific or particular link. And so I suspect there's quite a number of young people whose families don't feel any particular historic or emotional affinity with this country. That, I think, explains why we've got these numbers. So let me ask you, are young people now deserting the monarchy? Give me your view, farage at gbnews.uk.